Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some Sky Tea. Up, oh, wrong button. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. Uh, so last episode we got together and we messed with our antimatters. Uh, if we come in here and look, we are, we've got, I think, one more of the mechanism, but we've got a bunch of the, uh, FTB. So we're good to go. Uh, and then... That's kind of where we left it. Um, a couple things that I talked about. Uh, one was our crafting CPUs were getting bogged down. And one of the reasons for it was it, it, it's some of the stuff that I had going uh, all the time. And some of the stuff that we have going that we don't really need to have going. So I've took care of some of that. Um, one, I have got rid of the bone meal out of putting into the plant fertilizer. Um, we have 36.2 million. Um, or we've got 36,000 buckets is what we've got. Uh, and so we really just let that go as it sees fit. And we're good to go with that. Uh, there was something else that I took off of it. And I don't remember what it was. Uh, oh, the we've got plenty of the refined, well, the, the not plenty, we've got plenty of the refined fuel, but if we go here and look at our stuff, um, we've got 9,400 on our refined fuel, and we're sitting at 1,200 of the vadium and 1,300 of the mixed fuel. So we've got enough of both of those to take care of what we need to take care of. So, uh-oh, my screen went blank. There we go. I don't know why it does it every once in a while. Um, but we, we took care of that, and that took off another thing that was just auto-crafting that we really didn't have any use for. But now, speaking of auto-crafting, we talked about this last episode. This right here is our automatic Certus Quartz uh, stuff. So I've got this making... Zerds Quartz, uh, if you come over here, look, I've got this set to import the Zerds Quartz dust and the sand. And it's making the crystal, or the, yeah, the Zerds Quartz crystals, sending them back to our system uh, in a storage drawer. We have a storage drawer for them. Uh, and then this guy here is set up uh, to make charged Zerds Quartz. Uh, and so we can come in here and make the Fluex dust, and this one's automatically outputting into this, where it's making the Fluex crystals. And if we come down here, you can see we've got a export bus here with sand in it. So all of our crystals are being auto-crafted, or not auto-crafted, but automatically being crafted, and we don't have to worry about it. It's making... Uh, we're stuck at right about 76, 77 of the charge surface as it's making the Fluex crystals. I could probably speed all this up, but I don't want to get to where we're making as much of this as we are the surface quartz. Because surface quartz is one of the main things that we need. So that's all going. So that's kind of what I've done in between episodes, and that's been it. So today, what are we going to do? Matter of fact, we might as well just stay right here because this, well, we've got to go make what we've got to make. Uh... We're going to get back into evade tech. Uh, if we go in here, we need to get into our advanced encapsulator, our ultimate machine blocks, and then to the dimensional miner. Um, so that is where we're going today. So um, this can go away uh, all the vadium, mixed fuel. I'll keep the teas, the milk that one i uh, shoot i got rid of the nutrium and i needed it um it don't matter we're not there yet anyways that all can go away so the advanced encapsulator this is what we need everything here i don't know if i made a recipe for the fluid encapsulator i did not uh so i need to do that Uh, I don't have recipe for copper gears or tin gears. Let's do that and that. Tin gear. Copper gear. And this can all go with our the rest of our gears. Gear. Gear. 
it's about time for some more pattern storage too we uh we're, we're running out of space all right so that's got that taken care of um let's go ahead and craft up two of these and that'll take care of that next up on our list is the supreme black hole tanks we've got those how many of those do i need i need four let's get those going and let that run we're going to need four nitro capacitors we've got all of those it's amazing how much more stuff this has to go through and it got that done quicker than the rest of it uh, we're going to need four iridium circuits and that's what four eight We need four of these. That's done. That's done. Um, mechanism, we need... That's items. That's fluids. We've got plenty of those. And then I need bottler and then the advanced machine block uh bottler i do not have let's get a recipe going for it and i don't know where that music is coming from but it just pops up every once in a while i don't know if you all heard that or not so there we go um that's two of the four that we needed we need two bottlers That's got a quest complete. We're still waiting on those. And then after that, we need the advanced machine frame. So I might as well go ahead and get to that going because that is where it's going to take up all of its time. Um, available. Available. Actually, that may not be too bad this time. No, it's not. Uh, it's just got to catch up with the iron or with the plates. But everything else seems to be going pretty quickly, especially now that we've got the Certus Quartz part of this done. Yeah, that might be the quickest we've ever made one of those. So that's the machine frame. That should be everything we need now. Um, mechanical pipes, logistical pipes. And I think I goofed. Um, mechanical pipes, logistical transporters, and that is the Supreme Black Hole unit. Not uh, So I made too, too many of those, and I do not have a recipe for these guys. supreme black hole unit man before these got expensive to make i used to love using these things um and not just expensive uh functional storage has gotten it's so much cheaper to do than this uh but i used to use these a lot there's one of them and there's two of them now we should have everything we need to do this so there we go, advanced encapsulator. Awesome. So we need to get some of our, our stuff. We need some glass cabling. That's We've got three. I'd like to know where that all goes. Because every time I do this, I set it to craft a hundred of them, and then they all disappear. Uh, we need a pattern provider. And that should be all that we necessarily need for this. Uh, there's my pattern for the bitmus sand. All right, so we want recipes for um, uh, 
the vadium block and the mixed fuel block. So vadium, one bucket gives us that. We're going to need a recipe for a block of ostrum. Let's keep these separate. And then for the mixed fuel block, and then our uranium block, there we go. So that guy can go there, that guy can go there, and we're going to put this on our network out here because we have a lot more space. Um, so we still got a few more fluids to do there. Um, let's come over here, and let's set this up right here. And we give it the pattern provider. We're going to need... I forgot to get our flux plug. We want this set to bypass the limit because it is going to take a lot of power to do these. And let's give it our recipes. So, vadium block, mixed fuel block, and... Set it up like that, and we should be good to go with this. So let's craft up, I don't know, 10 of these. See how long that takes. It's not too bad. But it is sucking out the power for it. But it's working. Which is the main thing that I needed was for it to work. Awesome. So now we have both of these on demand. We'll finish this guy. We probably need to set this with... We'll see if we have any problems with this. Because we want to make sure that we have the Vadium in here with the Ostrom. And then the Uranium in with the Mixed Fuel. Uh, as it's going to wind up causing issues. So we'll wait and see, but I'm going to craft these up and then we'll go from there. All right, so it looks like everything works pretty well um, without having to keep an eye on it, really. Awesome. So now that we've got that done, we are ready to claim that quest and we are ready to look into the ultimate machine block. Now, we should have all of this stuff ready for crafting except for the train casing. And that is another one of these. Which is another one of those. Hmm. All right, so we've got this all set up. I've still got to clean it up like I do the rest of them. Um, but I, and I still actually have to do a recipe. Matter of fact, let's do that while we are talking about this. Um, so I need a oak log. And I need the train casing that I have. I don't think we need any brass plates for anything. If it so happens that we do need some brass plates, we can work this out. So, but that, one oak log gives us that. And then we come over here, put this guy in here, and if I want to, I can craft ten of these. And that should all work just fine. Beautiful. All right, so we've got our pattern set up here. We got it outputting onto the the oak logs being stripped with the saw. We have brass ingots here and sturdy sheets here. Both of these are auto craftable. Uh, the sturdy sheets are right there, and then the brass. I actually just had to move to a new induction smelter, uh, so we've got that going now. And that's really all there is to it. So now it's just a matter of cleaning this up just a little bit. And we'll look at our next bit of business. Alright, so our next bit of business is going to be to get into a bit of extended crafting. 
Uh, we need to make the crafting core and uh, it's the combination crafting and the pedestals. We need recipes for both of these. Uh, because we're going to need several of these uh, because we're going to be doing the package crafting with it and so yeah we'll need several of these so recipes we're going to set up um, we've got all this stuff ready to go except for the black iron frame we can get that ready to go and then our pedestals easy enough So we'll put this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here for now. And at least for this quest, it wants us to have one crafting core and the four pedestals. So let's go ahead and get that going. And for these guys, uh, we are I forgot to make a recipe for the black iron block. This guy right there and now finally we should be able to do the four of those so there's those and there's that both of these can go back in here as we're going to go ahead and that's going to give us two more pedestals and work on this guy here so for this one we should have everything we need for it and for the pedestals we just need the elite component we've got those auto craftable and we'll set these guys up there and we can put those together because it's gonna have to wait on the other ones and let's take a look at our recipe that we're going to need for this we might as well go ahead while we're setting all this up get what we need so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to need twelve pedestals for this. So, actually, eleven, because I do believe we're going to get one as a quest. So, we've got those, and then our combination package crafter. Everything's ready to go for that. Now, it's just a matter of waiting. All right, and there we go. There is that guy done. And as I said, we should... Oh, we got two more. We only had to make ten, but that's all right. We're good to go there. And we've got our bottler quest that we need to go ahead and complete. They give us a second bottler. Uh, we don't really, or not a second, but as a third bottler. Uh, so now I need to set these guys up. And I'm thinking we're going to probably, I, I talked about setting this up for our fluids, but since we got a big open space, I'm thinking right here is where we're going to do this. And I've got to figure out um, exactly how this is going to work. From what I understand, so that's 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I probably should have done that. So the other ones we have the unpackager and the packager. And I think with this one, instead of setting up or connecting it in, I think we're going to go ahead and do that instead uh, that way we don't have to run cable up here and we can try to keep this as compact as possible and then i just need to connect this over here i need to see how many channels we've got just pulling off of here for the time being 11 of 32 we've got plenty all right so that's that that should all be connected up. I don't think we need to connect anything else up. I've not ever used this. I've always done this the hard way with XNet. So I am hoping that this all works. So we need to get us two of those. And we need to find us a... 
Elite, Ultimate. Um, yeah, I've got to figure this out. All right, I'm pretty sure I figured out where this all went to crap. Or at least I don't know. Uh, we were not seeing the combination recipe for this or for any of it. Uh, and I don't know um, what was causing it. Uh, there's an update to the pack. I tried to update the pack and I had issues when I updated the pack. So I um, re well I reinstalled the version that I was on and now it all works so i don't know what happened i don't know if, but anyways this now should actually work we're gonna hope because i have made like six of these all right so we're gonna do this we're going to do this we're going to do this and we're going to sit here and we're going to watch it like a hawk and it's going to work. Uh, it's got to go through. Uh, one of these is crafting. One of them is not. This one is not. That one can be canceled. I was worried for a minute. This seems to be the slow part of it, the copper wire. Come on. <gasps> it worked. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Ultimate machine block now gotten. And that... Is quest complete, which should give us another one. Awesome. All right, so all that's taken care of. We're going to come down here to this. That is the advanced machine block. This one is SPS casing. We're going to take the recipes out of this. And I'm going to tell you why here in just a second. Um, and, well, I'm going to tell you why now. Uh, you can set up recipes for more than one item inside of these so we're going to go to recipe two recipe one recipe two and this is what we're going to go with and we're going to set up a recipe for the dimensional miner so save and that didn't work the way i wanted it to Um, let's switch this to that. SPS. There we go. Save. And now we've got both these recipes on here. And we can come down here and put these in here. It's not something, number one, it's not something that we're going to make a whole lot of. Well, the SPSs are. Uh, but the digital miners... Or not the digital miners. The yeah, the, our dimensional miners. We're going to need. I want to do at least six of these uh, because if we look at the uses for these, each they have different color laser lens, and each laser lens gets us a different um, ore chunk. And we're going to need all six of these to get everything that we need. So, yeah, that's what we're going to look at right now. So, custom, if we look at this, we need uh, a few things. Matter infuser. Uh, we need dimensional stabilizer, matter condenser, and digital miner. So, let me get all this set up.
All right, after a little bit of work, um, I've got everything done. So we had to do the matter infuser, the dimensional stabilizer, matter condenser. Most of this stuff, we already had all the bits and bobs to do. Uh, digital miner, uh, I had to work on most of it. Uh, one thing I did need was the deep slate iron ore. I've got a combiner set up with that. Uh, it's either deep slate or it needs just regular iron ore. doesn't matter which. Uh, and then we need the infused enderpearls. But we now have the stuff in order to make six of these. And this is going to take some time. Uh, because it's got to make all the stuff needed for three of the machine blocks. And all the other stuff. So, yeah, it, it's, going to, it's going to take a minute. So I'm going to let this thing run. I'm going to spend some time getting the different lasers lenses together. And then we'll come back and get it all set up. All right. So we're back. There we go. Six dimensional miners. Uh, I did have some issue with this guy. This did not work at all. Uh, and I don't know why it was not outputting into it. So, but it doesn't matter. We're we've done what we need to do, and if we need to do it, we can just throw some in there right quick and be done with it. I am not working real well here. So, uh, our next get bet is going to be one two. They gave us a white laser lens. I guess I should have uh, looked at that. We are going to go to our void dimension. With all the cows. Uh, and we're going to set all these guys up, which not really that big a deal. One, two, three, four, five, and uh, we're going to try it with just six of these. We may have to do more. Um, we'll see. Depends on how fast we get these things. Uh, if it's like anything else in the pack, we're going to have to need. Uh, uh, we're going to have to use a bunch of them. Uh, that is. Let's disable limit. Those are all full of power now. These all use 520,000 FE per tick, so it's about 3 million for all of them, and we've got all that squared away. And now we're just going to do a bit of um, functional storage. Uh, we need six. And for now, we'll probably just use that as what we need for any kind of space so that guy there will go one two and three four five and six so one two it's not bad so there we go we should have all the chunks complete Um, we need our locking drawers. We need this guy. Good. Now we're all set up. We can come in here. And that's fluids. We are out. Um, let's do 100 of them. I use a bunch of these. And then I'm also going to need a a storage bus. Where might one to be? Right there, storage bus. Beautiful. That's enough of those, so let's go like that. We will set all these to output. Uh, 
That should be filling those up rather nicely. Looks like it's working. And then we'll come over here and hook this guy into our system. And now we've got all of this inside of there. And we can move these as we need to see fit. And if I decide we want to do another set of these, we can just line them up and run them into the same set of drawers. So, but I think with that, oh, we got the uh, quest to do this. So with that, that's where we're going to leave it. We've got to get our ore centrifuge. Um, this the extraction of the main ores from the composite ores. Um, so basically, all of these chunks need to be run through a macerator. The macerator gives us the dust. Dust goes through the centrifuge, which I don't think all of them need to be. Um, maybe it does. No. Uh, the ruthenium, the indium doesn't. But the rest of these do, and that's a whole nother beast um, that we've got to worry about. So, but for now, that's where we're going to leave it. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!